Blue dollars? Lakes? The climate's not very... Niagara Falls? Maple Leaf? Yes, it's Canada. And Canadians live here. But where do they come from? Who the heck are the Canadians? Well, now you'll know. The oldest traces of mankind in Canada date back to 26,500 years ago. Since then, the Native Americans lived there, and the most famous of them were the Iroquois tribe. Around 1000 BCE, the Vikings landed in Canada, but apparently locals didn't like them very much, and they were sent to Valhalla. After 500 years, Italian and Portuguese explorers sailed to the coast of Canada for fishing and hunting of whales. It was only in 1534, when under the leadership of Jacques Cartier, that the French could establish a colony on the site of the present city of Quebec. The local Iroquois called the village Canata, meaning settlement. However, Cartier extended this name to all of the lands around, and by 1545, it appeared on European maps of the region as Canada. Of course, for the French, this was not enough, and they moved south, conquering new territories. But British, Dutch, and many local tribes, including the Iroquois, fought against them in many wars from 1689 to 1763. The French were forced to retreat north and eventually settled in the area of Quebec and Montreal. Since then, Montreal has been the largest French-speaking city. Well, after Paris, of course. In 1763, the Anglicization of Canada began. Simply, Canada became part of the British Empire. And what is the empire without uprisings? Canadians didn't like the fact that they could not make their own laws, that they were short of money, that the French speakers were oppressed, and on top of that, they were being affected by severe epidemic diseases. In short, in 1837, Canadians organized the Rise of Patriots, led by Louis Joseph Papineau, and declared an independent Republic of Canada. The British didn't tolerate this for long, and they sent an army and harshly dispersed the rebels. The surviving rebels fled to the U.S. Initially, their relationship with the USA was tense, but in 1846, sides agreed to draw a smooth border at the 49th parallel. Since then, Canada has become the second largest country in the world, and the border of the United States and Canada has become the longest in the world. It's through this border that Canadians smuggled alcohol into the U.S. during Prohibition. Anyway, in the 19th century, gold was found in the vicinity of the Yukon River. This is where there was a famous gold rush. Canada got its independence gradually. First, on July 1, 1867, the British Parliament passed the Act of British North America and the Canadians were given the right to form the government itself, but from the comfort of the British Empire. In 1931, by the Statute of Westminster, the laws of the UK no longer applied to Canada without the consent of the Canadians. Eventually, Canada became independent in 1982. But at the same time, Canadians have remained within the British Commonwealth of Nations. Because apart from Parliament, they also have the Queen. And that's cool. In both world wars, the Canadians fought alongside the British. They fought bravely, and therefore Canada is one of the founding members of NATO. Canadians play hockey best. Of course, they invented it. But for the Americans, they invented basketball too. Canadians also invented insulin, kerosene, the radio, the electric stove, electronic microscopes, snow clearance machines, a paint roller, and first produced the snowmobile. Films in IMAX format also have Canadian roots. Canada's population is over 34 million, with half of them being born in foreign countries. But this doesn't prevent them from considering themselves Canadians, and we're not surprised. It turns out, this is how they are, the Canadians. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share the video. Canada.